everybody, this is Dan Bigman from LearnGPR.com, uh, the internet's only training platform for ground penetrating radar, and we're bringing you another video where we're going to answer a question that I received just the other day. I was talking with one of our students in the GPR Basics course, which is our introductory course at LearnGPR.com, and he posed this question, uh, which is one that I think confuses a lot of people. So his question was, um, in a sense, does it matter whether your reflection from your GPR wave is white or black is basically the way that he posed it because that's typically the colors that people view GPR data in. Um, but really the question is, does it matter if your polarity is positive or negative? Because that's what the white and the black colors in GPR data are. They're, they're positives and negatives. Um, it's different on every single instrument, and you can change it to whatever you want, but a lot of times the white will be uh, uh, positive and the black will be negative, so it doesn't matter which color you are seeing, and the answer is it absolutely matters. And so in our example here, where I'm going to show you, <clears throat> is uh, red is going to signify positive, and green is going to signify negative. So you have your GPR antenna, and you're rolling it across, let's say, a concrete slab, okay, in this direction, and you're trying to image rebar. So concrete has a dielectric constant of about, let's say, 6. Rebar, okay, this is our example of rebar, has a dielectric constant of something about, right, uh, infinity. And we've gone over this in other videos on YouTube, so you can, you can check that out. So it's, it's really it's just very, very high because it's made of steel. And so <clears throat> what happens when the wave goes through a dielectric, a low dielectric, and then reflects off of uh, a material that has a, high, a much higher dielectric? Well, what you should see in your first reflector is something that looks like this. Right? So red we said was positive. Right? You, should see a, you should see a positive reflection first, or it's certainly emphasized. And then typically you'll have a negative reflection underneath it. Right? So for yours, it might be white and then black, depending on your instrument. Uh, why is that the case? Well, when a wave transitions from a low dielectric to a high dielectric, the first reflection is a positive response, a positive response. And this is generally what you see then, when, or it's always what you see, when you're mapping rebar within a concrete slab. Now, what happens as your wave, right? So you're moving along and now your wave is coming out and it's actually reflecting off of the bottom of the concrete slab, right? And this down here is... Uh, oops, which is air, okay, and that has a K of 1, basically. What do you happens when that occurs? So now you're moving from a higher dielectric to a lower dielectric. The response is going to be opposite. The response is opposite. So as you're mapping this interface between the concrete slab and the air, you're going to first see, you should see, a negative, and then often that will be followed by a positive. So moving from a higher dielectric to a lower dielectric, they will give you a negative response first. So the response, right, negative means you're going from a higher to a lower dielectric. Positive means you're going from a lower to a higher dielectric. Why is this important? Why does it matter? Can you locate the rebar? Of course you can. But understanding what your response is going to be, and this is called a reverse polarity, understanding the, the polarities and what they mean as far as the behavior of the wave, right, and modeling the subsurface, is it helps you understand, then, what you might be looking at. So let's say you continue on with your survey, and in this case, you don't, this is not, let's say, a rebar, but this is actually um, deterioration, and it's a void inside your concrete slab. As your wave comes down this time and hits the void, right, 
So it's coming down, it's bouncing back up, coming down, bouncing back up, it comes down and it reflects back to the surface. What should be your response when it hits, when your wave hits this void here? Well, what's it filled with? That's right, air. So what should you see? You should see a negative first, followed then by a positive. Okay. So that's a reversed polarity. So if that occurs, you'll know that that's not rebar. Right? You'll know that that's not some sort of post-tension cable. You'll know that it's going from six to something lower than six. And that should tell you that it's probably a void. So I hope that this was helpful for you. If you found it valuable, then please share it around. And if you've been watching our videos and you think that they're useful to you, if you're a beginner, if you're a beginner in ground penetrating radar and you wanna get free videos like this every single week, then click the subscribe button below on our YouTube channel and we will send these out uh, every single week to you um, so we can continue to help you get better in your GPR surveying. So thank you again for watching, and I will see you on the next video.